everybody. It's been such a long time since we last spoke to each other, but I am currently on vacation here in Hawaii. We're staying in Maui. We were here for about a week. This is our second to last night. We first went to Honolulu and then we came here to Maui. I thought I would kind of show you guys my travel makeup look that I've been doing. We're going to a luau dinner tonight. I don't have anything on my face except for my skincare and then a little bit of lip balm. I'm gonna go crazy with the makeup. I am gonna do it a little bit more like formal because we are going Going to like a special dinner um but you guys will see that it's gonna be really fast and quick so the first thing i like to do is just kind of like blur out my skin especially because like being out in the sun all day and everything kind of has like a toll on your skin so i'm gonna be using my go-to og elf poreless putty primer it's so good and i really think it just looks so fabulous on the skin i used to just focus this primarily like in my t-zone area but because it is like a little bit more like sticky out here and everything i just like to go and put this everywhere on my face recording by the way from my phone so um i hope the quality is okay i've been using recently is this huda beauty stick foundation and i love this stuff it's just so travel friendly and it's just easy you just swipe and you go it's really been like my go-to like night out foundation it's been really nice and i use this much which may seem crazy because it is but surprisingly this foundation doesn't have a super heavy coverage like it's a liquid sister in fact i actually use the liquid version the same color and everything on my wedding day if you guys don't know i recently got married in um september which is why i've been so mia here on youtube so i did my own makeup for my wedding which i can do a video on it if you guys want just leave a comment or even if you don't leave a comment i might just film it because it was probably just like one of my favorite makeup looks of all time and i was so nervous doing my own makeup for my wedding but honestly it just came out so amazing and i couldn't be happier so I'm definitely gonna film that for you guys. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows really quickly, just because they look a little bit gone. <laughs> just using the Anastasia pomade, and this is another product I've really been liking. I use it on my wedding day as well, and it's pretty good. I actually know how to use it now. I have like a good idea. At first I hated this product because I didn't know how to use it but now we are good. When I fill in my brows, I take this Nude Sticks um, Eyebrow Stylus Pencil and Gel, and I just take that gel area and I set my brows. Smashbox uh, times Becca under eye brightening corrector i have this in medium dark and it's that perfect like peachy color to cancel out any darkness i like to usually apply this before foundation but i accidentally forgot so i'm just applying this wherever i have darkness which is obviously just a little bit under the eyes and then i also have some like around the mouth area so pretty much i've been mia on youtube because i got married and the past like four months i've just been trying to like adjust to married life and like a new environment a new space um also my job has been going great as well i got promoted recently and so that means i have a lot more responsibilities that you know i'm more than happy and thankful about you know it's like the workload at work has increased and then personal life has increased and so um it's been a lot and to make videos and content has just been like really difficult. I've also really been slow on my IG, but it's just a learning process. As life starts to kind of settle down a little bit, like I will also like, you know, get the hang of everything. So I'm not trying to be like, like negative Nancy about anything. It's just like, it's just really how life has been. So I really want to start recording and filming again because that's like the one thing I do purely out of hobby because it's something I like to do. It's not work related, it's not like anything else. It's just the fact that like it keeps me going and 
keeps my mind stable so it is something that i truly love to do i'm just applying some concealer i just apply concealer underneath my eyes funny i literally have like 20 percent left and i'm trying to record this look as much as i can this is one of my favorite concealers it's the Too faced one i decided to get it again for my wedding days because i remember just truly how much in love i was with this concealer so absolutely love it i got a much lighter shade this time around so i'm happy with that because it kind of like brightens up the under eye next i'm just going to set everything and i'm going to use this chanel ultra lay tint just a powder oh my god so there is a story behind this so i was looking everywhere for like a month to get the charlotte tilbury airbrush um powder in medium it's been sold out everywhere and i've done a lot of traveling like i went to la i went to sd so every time i went to those places i asked them like do you guys have the charlotte tilbury powder in stock every time the medium shade it's sold out and so i decided to use this chanel one i've been really enjoying this foundation for sure and ugh, kind of the compact is just so classic like not gonna lie i was like a total sucker for the compact now I'm just gonna add a little bit of warmth to my skin. And so I'll be using the Huda Beauty Tantor. This is in the shade light. So the reason I got light is because I just wanted something very nice and bronzy and soft. The medium was a little bit more dramatic than I was used to. So this one just kind of adds a little bit of color into my skin and I just enjoy it a lot. As you guys can see, it's very warm and it kind of adds the right amount of color. Kind of brush a little bit on my nose i don't really do too much here and that is it for the bronzer i'm kind of doing cream blush and then sometimes i will do a powder on top but i'm gonna be using this rare beauty nearly mauve blush this is such a beautiful beautiful blush you guys i recently got this as well because i wanted like a pretty like like bright like baby pinkish kind of blush but i saw this color it was perfect i feel like it's also going to go better with my skin tone i think what i'm impressed with the most is the formula the formula just kind of like blends so effortlessly into the skin i don't want to say it's like a moussey texture because it's not a mousse whatsoever it's just a really lightweight blush like it punches the right amount of color without making you look crazy it's just so so nice so you kind of want to add a blush on top why not a totally different color than that rare beauty one but this is max raisin blush i'm just gonna apply this over the top i feel like this also just kind of like mattes my skin without me adding more powder and that's why i love that chanel powder is because it does what the charlotte tilbury one does exactly which is like blur out my skin and still keeping a little bit of like a glowy like healthy look i'm gonna take my um makeup by mario palette and this is just the master mattes so i'm just gonna take like a warm brown shade i'm probably gonna take this one and just pop that all over my lids lids naturally are brown so i'm pretty much just enhancing my natural lid color decided to add this like darker brown shade onto my lid and just kind of like blend it upwards actually haven't used liner at all um in this trip so this is going to be my first time but i thought i would use it just because we are going out i had to do like a really thin eyeliner look i don't know if you guys can tell but it's very thin and i hope that i can do the same thing on the other side but we went snorkeling today that's what we did. So I've been awake since like 6 a.m. out in the ocean and it was great. I don't know how to swim. I'm actually terrified of water because I don't know how to swim. For lips, I'm gonna go in with this uh, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 708 Universal Earth. This has made it down to my favorite lip liner ever. This is something that I've been searching for because I already have like my favorite brown lip liner, my favorite nude lip liner, and I needed like the perfect like like rose dark rosy lip liner here is is now i hope makeup forever doesn't discontinue this pencil but
use the Anastasia Staunch uh, lipstick. This is one of my favorites. I have literally talked about this so much um, on YouTube. I've had so many tutorials with it as well. It's just like one of my favorite nude lipsticks. I'm going to take this Hourglass um, little palette here, go in with this guy, and just kind of put some highlighter, even though we're pretty glowy. The blush that I actually wanted to use on top of my little Rare Beauty one because it matches pretty well. But I decided to use the matte one because I couldn't find this because it was behind me. I'm going to use the bronzer in this as well. So I'm just going to kind of go and just quickly like bronze up one more time. Completes my makeup. And now I am going to do my hair. I unfortunately can't bring you guys with me um, to do my hair just because, again, I don't have my tripod and my hair stuff I have to do in the bathroom. So I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to show you guys what I'm gonna wear, and then we're gonna go to the luau. So I went ahead and curled my hair. This is how it looks like. Just in case if you were wondering what I used, I used the T3 curler. This is one of my favorites because it doesn't damage your hair too much, and then also it gives you like really nice voluminous curls, which is exactly what I like. I don't like super like tightly packed coiled curls. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and change, and I'll show you guys what we're gonna wear tonight. All right, so here is what I'm planning to wear. So I got this dress from, I believe I got it from Amazon. Oh my God, it's so nice. I'll definitely leave a link below. I also got this little hair scarf from Amazon, but I might not wear this. I kind of kept it there to see um, if I like the pattern and stuff. And then this beautiful bag, it, this is the Gucci Dionysus Wallet on Chain. I wanted like a mini bag. They unfortunately discontinued the mini Dionysus in emerald green um so i can't get that one but instead i actually just went to the store here in maui and i checked out the wallet on chain made sure it fit everything and it did and it still gives me that like really pretty like mini bag look with the whole down assist um sort of quality and the look of it and everything and i love this emerald emerald green color it's been on my list for so long and i'm so happy that i finally picked it up I have a feeling i'm gonna have to iron this but honestly you guys i hate ironing it's like the worst so i might not iron it i know i'm the worst but kind of like go through what i'm wearing unfortunately that mirror back there is the worst and i tried to record my outfit on there but it's not really working out here is just how the dress looks it's beautiful and then here i just have my little bag i'm so excited with how this look came out and now it is time to go to the luau